cybersecurity engineer with Firm IT Solutions. I am a U.S. Air Force veteran. I was in for four years and I did pretty much similar job to what I do currently. I mostly work with servers though. Uh, I have four years of IT experience from that. I am actually a recent graduate of the Leadership uh, Pikes Peak Leadership Now program. That was last week. Uh, very exciting. I would have won my starfish pin, except it broke. So, <laughs> uh, I'm a new Colorado Springs resident. Uh, I've only been here 10 months. Um, before I joined the military, I only had lived in Tennessee, and uh, now I've lived in two different countries. So, my credentials as a cybersecurity engineer are my CompTIA Security Plus, which means that I know how to secure your systems and make sure that everything is secured properly the way it should be. Uh, I have CompTIA IT Fundamentals Plus, which means I know the basics, which is always good to know. I also have CompTIA A Plus, which means I know the majority of the hardware and software uh, that I need to know for making sure I can work on your systems properly. So why is your small business a target for cyber attacks? You're probably all wondering, um, small business, you know, on small potatoes, probably not something that people would want to, you know, attack. But actually, small businesses are the foundation for our economy, and by attacking small businesses and bringing them down, that means that our economy suffers, and as a whole, our country suffers. So here are the facts. 43% of cyber attacks are small businesses. Only 14% of small businesses rate their ability to mitigate cyber risks, vulnerabilities, and attacks as highly effective. 60% of small companies go out of business within seven months. Mark, if you have insurance with him. So how Firm IT operates? We do free cyber analysis for your business. We have a monthly <coughs> subscription for your contract. We back up your data. We give you technical support. We give you cybersecurity for your data and information. We do IT consultation. We also do incident response. So what is my ask? Anyone concerned about their cybersecurity, which everyone should be. Small businesses that handle any sort of HIPAA information, so Dr. Dan with uh, dentistry, Dr. Dave with the general practice, uh, Dr. Kent, which he's not here today, but anybody with HIPAA information. Any nonprofit organizations, law firms, those frustrated people who want better IT service, and small businesses that have been previously cyber attacked or dealing with a recent attack. So, how many people know how many types of hackers there are out there? No, there's actually more than that. There's actually seven different types of hackers. So you have your gray hat hackers, which means that they operate in a very nebulous sort of zone, like your hacktivists. So they toe the line between being a black hat and a white hat hacker. Which brings me to my next point. A white hat hacker is somebody like my boss, Rodney, who is a certified ethical hacker. He can do penetration testing on your systems to make sure that they are secure or find holes that need to be plugged. Then you have your black hat hackers, which means that they are solely interested 
um, and malicious intent against you and yours. Then you have your script kiddies. So that means they're probably amateur hackers mm -hmm. using scripts made by other hackers that are more knowledgeable. They're actually very dangerous because a lot of times they don't know what they're doing and then they can cause a whole bunch of issues for you. <clears throat> You've got suicide hackers, people who they just have a certain goal in mind and they don't care if they get caught, they don't care if they cause a whole bunch of damage, they're just there to do what they plan to do and get out. You've got cyber terrorists, that means domestic and foreign. You all may have heard of the ransomware attacks against both Baltimore and Atlanta. Those are considered cyber terrorists. You've got state-sponsored hackers. So that would be either like uh, in the US or Iraq, Russia, state-sponsored to attack our enemies. And then you've got your hacktivists, which are like anonymous, uh, 4chan, and they just tend to do whatever cause that they like. So they find a child pornography ring, maybe they'll take them down, but they also might just take down the Xbox or PS4 network just because they can. And uh, I think I've only got like a minute or so left. So if Tom would not mind coming up and giving that testimonial for me. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it from here. Um, some of you in this room knew that I've been for the last six months trying to find another IT relationship. And through that search, I finally got with May Lee when she came into the group. And I will tell you that my first response to their pricing was, I don't want to pay that much. And then I realized that I was being this guy. <laughs> <laughs> because I was looking at price over security and safety and protection. Because all the other IT people never really emphasized cybersecurity. And going through the analysis, I found that, you know, I'm exposed. And I don't know about you know about the laws that are coming about. If you don't do the proper protection for your business, no matter how small you think you are, you're going to be screwed. You're going to be out of business because you are the low-hanging fruit. So I would suggest that you reevaluate your pricing and talk to May Lee and make sure that you've got the proper security in your system or you might be paying the price later on.